welcome back to another electro technology video and in this video we're going to look at contactors and relays what are they so i have in front of me today a contactor and a relay these are quite common components in electrical wiring especially in more commercial and heavy industrial settings and a lot of times you might have heard the terms uh, contactor and relay thrown around and wondered what exactly are these items? Well, they're really simple actually. They are basically a way for us to control higher voltages using a low voltage. Now that doesn't seem to make too much sense, but bear with me. So basically what we're doing is we are taking something that looks like this and we're applying a small voltage. So let's assume it's 32 volts. And by applying that 32 volts, we apply it to a coil. And then the coil energizes and pulls in these larger things, which we call contacts, pulls them together. And that allows us to put a higher voltage on either side of those contacts. So when they pull together, the current can flow through. So it's realistically, it's just a giant big switch. And we use these in systems where we don't want to be running high voltage, high current through it. So control systems that we might use in um, machines, cranes, all that big sort of stuff. You know, that's where we use contactors. Now a relay is essentially the same thing. It looks a little bit different, but essentially it's doing the exact same thing. We are able to connect different contacts and then apply a smaller voltage, pulls in a, um, a coil, and those contacts go together. And remember, a contact is literally only a switch anyway. It's just allowing current then to flow through the circuit. That's really all that there is to it. So I'm going to pull this one apart, and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. So I'm going to take this contactor and I'm going to pull it apart so you can see how it works. But essentially we have a point there and a point on here. This is where we can attach our wiring to energize the coil that's inside. And it's going to pull this section here. It's going to pull that in. And these will be our higher voltage contact points there, which will now allow the circuit to work. So to take it apart, I just need to unclip this section here. There we go that side and the same thing on this one there we go and when I take it apart there is you can see part of the contacts and in here this one if I take this out there is the coil that I'm energizing and when I energize that then it pulls these together you can see there's a spring that holds them open uh, for the most part and when that energizes they get pulled together those contacts can move, as you can see, like this, right? Makes the contact here inside, and then away you go. And it's really that simple. There's not a huge amount to these things. Put them back like that. And these things get mounted on what we call a DIN rail. So there we go. They just clip on and screw down if need be. They get mounted on DIN rail in machines and then we can wire them all up. And a relay is very much the same sort of idea. But this one's a little bit more enclosed. So I take that out. You can see there that the coil is inside and the contact points are inside as well. And it just sits neatly in this little base, which we then connect up. And we connect our wiring to the outside of the base. Again, it sits on a DIN rail, and that's really all there is to it. So there you go, contactors and relays. Just really giant big switches. That's all they are. We use them a lot in heavy industrial settings and commercial settings. There you go, you've learned something today, I hope. So if you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something, which I hope you have, then please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.